So let's dive in right now and show you Canva, the, the Canva plugin for chat GPT. The way we're going to enable uh, plugins, if you haven't already, come here to your settings, beta features, plugins, you can go ahead and check that. And then to get the Canva plugin, come up here to the plugins area. There's a store, the, the kind of like a Google Play store. Come in here to plugins, type in Canva. Then you can go ahead and install Canva right there. If you don't know much about plugins, they are powered by third parties. Uh, they connect ChatGPT to other external apps. And they automatically choose, you know, ChatGPT when you ask it a question it will automatically choose to use that plugin. Let's go ahead and look at Canva so you can see that it is enabled. So let's say I want to design some, some Canva for a, a YouTube thumbnail or uh, a Facebook post. So let's do this right here. So I've asked it to create a futuristic Facebook post design for my son. So you can see that it's using Canva. It knows to go ahead and call uh, the Canva plugin, and let's see what it gives us. And here are the answers that it gave us. So here is a pretty cool one. Uh, discount, whatever this thing is. I don't know how that's futuristic. Uh, this thing in the desert. So you, you get the idea. So, oh, I like this one. So the thing here is you can't just use these, um, you really can't just use these as is. You, you know, you're going to want to change them, update them. So what you're going to do is just click on the link, and it's going to drop you into uh, the Canva you know, the Can Canva web app. And then you can come in here and just kind of change this uh, however you want, uh, whatever you want. Then you can post this to your, your socials, and everyone will think, wow, you designed stuff so well. But what you actually did was used AI to design this, and then you get to post this. You get to use all the fruits of the labor of AI to do that. Thanks again. If you found value, please subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks.